Hey guys, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm just going to go over some pages and posts in WordPress. I'm going to show you how to add pages and add a post. Now, uh, I have a fresh install of WordPress, and I have a fresh theme on here with a child theme, and that theme is a VEDA. So, uh, some of the items may look a little bit different from yours, but um, d doing everything is the same. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to pages, and we're going to go to add new. So I'm just going to title this, put your title up front, about us. All right, and like this use Fusion Builder will not be here if you don't have the Invader theme installed. And also there's other options over here, the featured images and everything else. Um, you will have a featured image, but you may not have five featured images there. So this is just the basic uh, backend of WordPress here. And you can see you can add media, you can add a form. If you have Gravity Forms installed, if you don't, you will not see that. Okay, uh, you get your basic text editor tools here. All right, and you have a visual tab and you have a text tab. Okay, the visual tab is going to be kind of like a what you see is what you get editor. The text tab is going to be for HTML code. All right, and if you don't see all these options, if you don't see all these options, just click this toggle, toolbar toggle. Okay, and then it'll show up. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of walk you through on how uh, how you can use some of these elements to make a page. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some dummy text that I have here and paste it in. All right, and you can see it pasted in regular here. If you go to the text tab, it's it, it's just regular text here. We haven't done any uh, editing to it yet. So uh, once we do some editing, I'll take you back over here and you can see what it looks like. But for right now, let's go on the visual tab. Okay, I'll add a title. Just write the about us. And then what I do is highlight it and you can go over here to this drop down and you can choose what size you want your heading to be. This is good for SEO type stuff and uh, you know H1, H2 headings are probably the most popular ones. H3 and on down, use those for uh, you know subheadings. But I'll just do H2 on the about us. <clears throat> All right, and now say I wanted to bold the first letters here. I want to bold these you just hit the bold. And then uh, if you want to italicize something, you can go here and you can hit italic and that will italicize an item. All right, so let's say we want to make this a quote. You just highlight it and go to block quote and it becomes a quote. And this will look different on your page, okay? So now if you want something to be centered you can highlight the text as well. And then you have your align left, align center, align right. And you can just do whichever one you prefer. Okay. If you want something to change color, highlight it, text color, and you choose your color. And you can also see all these other options here if you want to strike through. If you want to make a horizontal line. Now you see that? So this is the quote. I press enter and dropped it down. So whatever I type here will be inside this quotation box, okay? So let's go enter again, enter, and then it makes it even with all the other text right here. And if you want to insert the horizontal line, you can do that there. Um, you can also, say you copy and paste something in, okay, and you don't want it to be formatted, you just do clear formatting, and it clears away the special text like bold, strike throughs, and all that. Uh, that's kind of the basic uh, formatting tools. It, like I said, it's similar to Word, um, something to that extent. Also, if you want to do list, Let's do this list one now I'm doing you can do if you press enter it drops down to the next line okay but if you do if you hold shift and press enter it drops off to the very next line no space in between however when you're doing a bolted list okay this four when you're doing a bolted list you highlight all your items and you come up here to the bolted list 
and they're perfectly in place. Now, if you don't, it may look a little bit different. And actually, let me just do this. Okay, you see, see how that's different there? It doesn't give you the bullet points, so that's why whenever you do the bullet points, you need all of your items to be with a space in between. This works the same way for the numbered list too. All right. Um, so let's say you want to link another website, okay? What you would do is you would grab the URL. So I'm just gonna go up and grab this forum uh, URL. So I highlight the item and then I do this insert link. So I click that and then it brings up this box. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to link options. All right, I'm gonna put the URL here and then you have an option of opening in a new tab. This will open it in a separate window and not in your same window. If this is a link within your website, you don't want to use this open link in new tab. If this is an external website, I always use the open link in new tab. All right, and at the same time, you can do, you can link it to another page. So all your pages are going to show up here, and you can just click the page, and it'll link it to that page if you want that. So I'm going to go add link, and that's linked. Now, if you want to remove this link, you can always go to this remove link. You can do this remove link right here. <clears throat> and you can also do this read more tab up here okay so this is going to say read more and when it drops down uh, it'll show the rest of this information here so now let's look at this in the text editor okay if you go to text you can see h2 tags have been added to our title strong tags which means bold has been added to this title and then you can just see a number of different other things. Block quote has been added to our quotations. Uh, this is just, just regular HTML. And if you, if you don't know any HTML, it's fine. You don't have to use uh, the, the text editor. Uh, some people find it easier uh, when they know the HTML. But that's how you, that's the basics of a page. Oh, let's add an image. Let's add an image. So I select where I want the image to go. I go to add media. Okay, so let's add an image. So just drag and drop it right here. All right, and then you can title it here. If you want, if you want to add a caption, the alternative text and the description. All right, and I'm just gonna go insert into page. All right, and you can see right here it's inserted. Now if you click on it, you can see it has no alignment, okay? The other options are align left, align center, align right. So I usually do an align left, and it aligns it to the left of the paragraph. Or you can do a align right, align it to the right. You can also hit the edit button, and this pops up this window. Okay. So say you want to link this item to a different. Uh, say you want to click this and, and link it to the page. You would go to a custom URL, and you can just grab your link again, and paste it there, and go update. So now whenever somebody clicks this, it will go to that page. Once you're done, then you would come up here and you go to publish. <clears throat> It'll publish it. And then you can go to view page. And then there's your page. So you can see your H2 is there, your bold strike through. We got your block quote here. And this is going to be different for... Um, this is going to be different for a number of different themes. So yours isn't probably going to have this tab right here. It'll probably just be italicized with the background possibly. Um, or it may just be indented. Uh, it, like I said, it depends on which theme you have and what options you're using. And your H2 tag may be a different size than this one. Um, you can see our color blue in our image here. So you can see when I roll over the image, if I can click it and it goes to this page. Now, that being said, I did not use the open link a new tab with this image. Remember for this link right here, I did use open link a new tab. So now, if I click that, it goes to a different page. It goes to that page, and I have two pages open. So that is the big difference in um, the open link a new tab and not open link a new tab. So that's basically the options for the pages, okay, and the posts are the same exact way. 
So now if I want to add a post, I would go back to my uh, dashboard and I go to post and I would go to add new. So basically the difference between the pages and the post is that the pages are static. So pages are, are meant for items that are uh, going to be on your site forever. Home page, about page, uh, contact page, services page. The posts are really meant for your blog. So you have a blog page and then you have posts. So if I add a post today, it'll show up. And then if I add a post tomorrow, it'll show up in front of that. And then if I add a post the next day, it'll keep showing up and go in order. And the post will move on down. Each post will be its own page, but it just it's a way to uh, kind of organize. The difference is, is you have categories. You can categorize your uh, post. Basically, you can add tags to your post. Um, some of this is going to be a little bit different on yours, uh, depending on what theme you have, if you have any of these options or not. But the text editor and everything else works the same way. So now, where do your posts show up at? Your posts are going to show up on your blog page. Okay, and how do you set your blog page? Well, you're going to go to your settings, and you're going to go to uh, writing. Actually, you're going to go to reading, excuse me. All right, and then it asks you, your front page will display your latest post or a static front page. So I'm just going to show you my website right now. All right, so this is what a uh, post as your front page looks like. So it has all your posts written when you, when you posted it. Okay, so you can see it just goes in, in order there. But it's going to look something like this, something similar to this, not the exact same. That all depends on your theme that you're using. Okay, so um, that's what it's going to look like. And it, this, if I added a new post on this page, it'll it'll show up at the top here, and this will move down one. Now, let me show you my resources page because this is a just a regular static page. This is just a regular page. Nothing's changing. I have a sidebar on it but it's it, it just a regular page. So if you actually go to your um, categories, you can see I have all these laid out here. And so if I put something in the WordPress category, it'll show up on my main page as well as this page for this category. So that's basically pages and posts. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will get back to you on that. Uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead, look at my other videos, and subscribe to my channel, and um, let me know if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you on the next video.